Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us here at four. I'm Kim Kalunian and I'm Kayla Fish. The First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden, has arrived here in Rhode Island for a visit and campaign stops. Her plane arrived just about right on time at TF Green Airport at 3 p.m. She's going to be speaking at three different locations before setting back off for Washington. One of them right here. Here's a live look right now from Rhode Island College where Dr. Biden is meeting with students. We have a crew there as well and we'll have more on that stop, stop coming up on 12 News at 5. But let's go to TF Green Airport where Dr. Biden landed a short time ago and 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was there for her arrival. Alex? Well, a first lady staffer tells me that this was Dr. Jill Biden's first official visit and political visit to Rhode Island when she arrived here at the tarmac at about 315 this afternoon. Members of Rhode Island's delegation, along with Governor Dan McKee, his wife and Mayor Frank Picosi, went out to greet her. Now, the plane the first lady flies on, it's referred to as the bright star. As you just saw, the first lady should be at Rhode Island's college, Feinstein School of Education and Human Development about now. She'll be joined there by Governor McKee and First Lady Susan McKee, who's an alumna of Rhode Island College and also served as a teacher there for 25 years. Now she'll be there to meet with undergraduate students participating in a networking event that's aimed at helping undergrads find a pathway into the education field. Dr. Biden also slated to deliver remarks to students, faculty, and campus administrators while she's there. After that, she's set to speak at political events, as we talked about, for McKee and the Rhode Island Democratic Party, as well as making an appearance for a treasurer, Seth Magaziner, who is running for Congress. And we caught up with Governor McKee earlier this morning about how a visit like this helps with momentum just 13 days now before the general election. His Republican opponent, Ashley Kalis, also had her own thoughts on what this kind of visit meant for the Democrats' campaign when asked about it last weekend. So, you know, to have uh, uh, Dr. Biden here, Joe Biden here, First Lady, uh, that's an honor for the state of Rhode Island, but it also is a good uh, endorsement uh, for myself and, and others that are, that are running for office right now. And desperate campaigns do desperate things, and that's what we're seeing with uh, Dan McKee, is he needs to bring in folks from D.C. to help him because he has no record to run on in Rhode Island. I'm told the First Lady is expected to depart from TF Green at about 640 this evening, though that could change now since her plane arrived about 20 minutes late. We'll continue with live team coverage coming up at 5. Reporting live from TF Green Airport, I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Alex, thank you. Also in the race for governor are independents Elijah Gizzarelli and Paul Rihanna Jr. along with libertarian Zach Hurwitz. The first lady has a full afternoon today after speaking at Rhode Island College in Providence. Dr. Biden is scheduled to attend a fundraiser, as you heard from Alex, for Governor Dan McKee at 445. And then that campaign fundraiser for Seth Magaziner is scheduled for 545.